buffalo ranch chicken potato nachos. Hey, today we're gonna take one of my favorite foods in the world, potatoes. We're gonna break out some chicken, some buffalo sauce, some ranch. These are next level nachos. Let's get it going. We're just gonna put some holes in these taters. Let a little steam off as they cook. You don't have to do this step if you don't want. Got our last one here. I've just got a little olive oil. Doesn't take much, probably not even a quarter to a half a teaspoon. Just rub a little oil over each one of these. Got our last one here. Now let me wipe my hands off. Now we just got a little kosher salt. I'm gonna sprinkle on all the sides. Now, get this last one done. We're going to get these potatoes over to our pellet grill. I'm gonna cook these guys on a pellet grill today, and the reason is I'm gonna use three different temperatures, right? And you can dial a pellet grill in really quickly to do that. Now to season these, I've got just laying around this Casa Free Range Chicken Rub. Hey, use any chicken seasoning you want. You don't have chicken seasoning, you can still make this recipe. Use a little salt, pepper, and garlic to taste, garlic powder. I'm just going to season each side of these, and you won't need three. Uh, two, two chicken breasts are plenty. Of course you can use thighs. I'm trying to use up stuff in my fridge. We're just going to get our chicken breast here on the pellet grill. A little space in between them. Let's get our lid down. It's been an hour and 15 minutes total. You know, we put the chicken on 30 minutes into it, so the chicken's been on 45 minutes. Let's give everything a check. I'm going to probe this chicken. Look at that, 165, 167. Chicken's actually a couple degrees overcooked, but I think it'll be all right. Now I'm gonna let these potatoes sit here for about 10, 15 minutes, because they're gonna be too hot to handle. And then we'll just let our chicken sit over here and cool down as well. I got one package of cream cheese. This is a cup of Sweet Baby Ray's Buffalo Wing Sauce. Two tablespoons, apple cider, vinegar. Now I'm coming in one half a stick melted butter, about, you guess, quarter teaspoon of black pepper, about one teaspoon of kosher salt. Here what I've got, diced green hatch chilies. I've drained them off. You can leave this out if you want, but I love them. And we'll come in with, I don't know, maybe half a teaspoon of dried garlic. Here, half a teaspoon of paprika. Now let's set this aside. And now, you wanna slice. You could put this in a blender, chop it up. But I am gonna make it kind of fine. And I'm just gonna chop it. Like I say, you could put this in a blender and shred it if you want it. And we about got our chicken chopped up. And I used two of the three chicken breast. That third one I'll use in my lunch. Now we're gonna bring our sauce, that uh, cream cheese, all that goodies, goodies back over here. Put our chicken in. And here I've got some freshly grated, eight ounces each, pepper jack cheese and Colby Jack cheese. So I'm gonna put roughly half of those two piles, so roughly four ounces each. And now we're gonna start mixing. We have about got this all mixed in, and you wanna leave that cream cheese out for a little bit. It'll make it easier to blend in. We've got a package of ranch. I don't, can't believe I almost forgot that. Now let's get it mixed in. Now let's get back to our potatoes. Our potatoes have cooled down. We just want to get each of these guys cut in half. And now, just want to scoop out the centers, just like you would if you were making 
potato skins. If you had a little smaller spoon for some of these smaller potatoes, it would be a little easier. I brought out a bigger spoon. Now you can see all the potato is taken out of our uh, skins. Now what I'm going to do is cut them in half, each one in half, and then after we get them cut in half, I'm going to come down like this. We'll do thirds, right? And then these little, these ones that are a little bit bigger, you might cut them in four pieces, for example. Got a can with some parchment paper. We're going to put our potato pieces on here. They're just barely going to fit on our pan, but we'll get them on here. And now I'm going to take a little olive oil and drizzle like so. And then we'll come in with a brush and get a little bit better. Just take this brush, take where you drills it on there. Look, you could dip your brush in a bowl if that's what you wanted to do. This is going to help crisp these guys up some. And it's also going to allow us to apply some more salt. I've got some kosher salt here, just gonna sprinkle on the tops. Let's get these on our pellet grill. I'm probably gonna check them in 10 to 15 minutes. And I'm gonna turn this pellet grill up to 450. Let's make a salsa. I've got one and a half medium tomatoes chopped up, two tablespoons of cilantro, tablespoon of garlic. Here, I've got two jalapenos chopped up. I'm going to put in about eighth of a teaspoon of black pepper and about half a teaspoon kosher salt. Then we're going to squeeze in, that's a lime if you can't see it, half a lime and that should be plenty because it is good and juicy, right? Now let's just mix this up. I must be losing my mind today, I forgot one other thing. I've got a half of a red onion, right? Got to have some onion in fresh salsa. Okay, now we can set the salsa aside. Okay. Yeah, they're starting to they're starting to crisp up a little bit on the top. Now, let me get them out of here. And now what we'll do? You can see they're starting to get a little crispy. I'm going to turn them over and repeat the oil and the salt on this side. They are a little bit warm. Like I say, we're just going to repeat the process. A little oil. Get our magic brush back over here. It was in the salsa. I guess that'll be okay. Oh, there's one we didn't get over. And then just a little bit of kosher salt again, right? Not a lot. We've already salted the back side a couple times. Now let's get them back over to our pellet grill again. I'm guessing it'll take 10 to 15 minutes more. Let's have a look here. Yes, I think that's going to work for us. There's what they're looking like. All right, let's do the assembly now. Got a little spray olive oil Pam stuff. Just a little in our cast iron pot. Now what we want to do is kind of line our pot up. Right, and these are super hot, as you might imagine. Smart thing to do would be let them cool down. All right, now we've got our potatoes in here. Now, do you remember that chicken we made way, way back in the recipe earlier in the video? Now we're going to come in, lay that chicken in here. <laughs> Just a layer over the top of our taters. 
Just know, I just know this is going to be so good. And then if you recall earlier, we only used half of that cheese. That was for a reason, as you can see. We're going to come in here with the other half. Oh, lots of good cheese goodness. Back on our grill it goes. Get the lid down. And we're going to turn this grill on up to 500. Hey, it's been 10 more minutes at that high temperature. Let's have a look. There she is. That cheese is nice and melty. We're going to get this off here. Hey, I appreciate you staying with me. This video took quite a few steps. Let's do the final assembly. Now, yeah, what I've got here, some guacamole. How, how much do I have? I don't know. This is eight ounces of guac. Just going to spread it out here. I didn't make it. I don't even know how to make guacamole, but I know how to eat it. All right, now there's our guac. Now we're coming in. This is that salsa. You remember we made that salsa? Oh, looking so, so good. And I'm going to come in with just a little sour cream on top. And then this is something I just recently discovered, this Hellman's Creamy Sriracha. Just a little of this. To top it off, we've got a little cilantro and a little chopped onion combined. And there you have it. Buffalo chicken and ranch potato skin nachos. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Let's give this a try. <laughs> Better than nachos. You get that potato with the crispy skin on the bottom and of course you get all that great salsa and we got those potatoes just in the right size bites i don't know can you see that i definitely definitely like that potato much better than a traditional corn chip hey if you like this video i got two more dip videos down below